it's my first attempt at one of these vlog type things so please be kind and where better to start than my local Booterstown Beach, Dublin Bay, Ireland with a view towards that Dublin icon pool bag. It's really just a beaten up old factory, those two towers in the distance, but us Dubliners love it and it does provide for some great photographic opportunities, viewable from all sorts of angles throughout the city, a great focal point for landscape photography and of course we have the sea to marry that focal point up with. I photographed Poolbeg from Booterstown Beach more times than I care to remember. I can see it from my office window so it's normally just a case of grabbing the gear and going. This time though was a little bit different. I wanted to share the location and some tips with you guys so I waited patiently for the right tide and a decent forecast and I feel like my patience was rewarded. I'm really pleased with the images and I had an all around great morning out. Something which I guess we could all do with at the moment. I hope what follows gives you a little flavour for what's possible in Dublin Bay. Morning folks, how are we doing? So uh, it's bright and early, about an hour before sunrise down here on Booterstown Beach. Lots of high cloud predicted and it actually looks extraordinarily clear. There is a little small low band of cloud just down the bottom of the horizon. Blue Hour was really quite spectacular. There was an amazing transition between the warm tones of Dublin Port and the city and those cool pre-dawn tones in the sky. The blues were reflecting beautifully on the water and just that transition in the center of the frame from the warm to the cool was something that really appealed to me. My first image of the day was captured at 4.24 a.m. No big or little stoppers needed. The light was so low I was able to get a 30 second exposure without any major intervention. I did use a Lee 0.6 medium grad to hold in the sky details and I tried to accentuate the warm to cool transitions in the processing and I used a mixture really of gradients and brushes to create directionality and contrast all leading towards the horizon and the Dublin cityscape. So if you have a look guys in behind me you can see that the water is gradually starting to pull out. Now I picked this particular morning to try and get a good tide for this location. I love the wet sand. I love how the wet sand reflects the light. So that's why I'm here in this particular morning. The tide's actually up a little bit higher than I thought it would be. But you can see it's gradually starting to creep out here. And once it starts moving, it'll actually pick up quite quickly. And hopefully we'll be left with some wet sands, some great reflections of pool bag, and also the dart station itself. So it's looking pretty promising. So guys, I've been able to get down onto the beach and I am alternating exposures between quicker exposures because there's a lovely little ripple on the sea and it's really leaving a beautiful sort of bit of light there as the ripple comes across the little bit of sea as it recedes. It's leaving just a gorgeous bit of light. So I'm playing with a quicker exposure and I'm also playing with a slow exposure. So I have my soft grad in, I have a polarizer in actually as well and then I'm popping those off and just doing a quicker exposure as well just to get a little bit more shape in the foreground. So it's nice to play with both. The mist has totally covered pool bag and <laughs> the incinerator in the distance. So it's a, a special morning in terms of light. It's really the tranquility on the beach that morning was really quite amazing and the blue light was just shimmering on the high tide. The mist was a massive bonus. It was still completely clear when I made my first keeper of the day but by 4.45 the mist had totally covered the view and I just love my gentle pastels and simple scenes so everything was set up perfectly for me. With this particular scene I did play with some quicker exposure times to freeze the wee ripples in the water, opening aperture and pumping ISO to get quicker shutter speeds. I ultimately preferred the longer exposure and the more minimal look to the image. I just feel like it suited the simplicity of the scene. I was able to achieve an exposure time of 30 seconds at f13 by dropping my ISO to 32 and using a combo of my Lee polarizer and a 0.6 medium grad to hold in the sky. I love my big and little stoppers but a polarizer or a three stop ND is a key aspect of my filter set especially pre-dawn when 10 or six stop filters can create crazy long exposures I mean you know who wants to wait 10-15 minutes and 
you know, hot pixels, all sorts of issues. My processing was uncomplicated and ideas driven as always. Get people looking at what you want them to see by adding contrast to the key points. Good white balance and a measured approach always puts me in good stead. As the water receded back, I was able to make my way further into the bay and explore some of the amazing wet sand and reflecting light. What a combo. So the light is changing loads. You can see in the distance the little clouds are starting to take some light. They're high clouds. We couldn't even see them with our eye what we got here. And there's more clouds generally building medium and a few low clouds around but the high clouds are starting to get the colour. Also look at how the tide has come out and where I'm standing now versus being on the concrete when I arrive. We're starting to get all these lines and patterns which lead really towards the beautiful misty pool bag in the morning. So the light's pretty special, I gotta keep going. Apologies in advance if I'm repeating myself, but I just can't stress enough how important the tide is. The wet sand is absolutely key for creating reflections and creating intensities of light. Without the water between the sandbars, there would be no separation in tones, no graphic shapes. Did I mention I think wet sand is pretty key for this location? And every seascape location for me. Get yourself down to the water's edge and fill that frame with glorious reflective light. As the day became brighter, my exposure times became quicker. The water in Dublin Bay and in Booterstown specifically is quite shallow as the tide recedes, so the reflections can be really spectacular. It reflects easy. That's a key thing as well to understand. The deeper the water, the more difficult it is to get the reflections. So that's a great aspect of photographing in Dublin Bay and something to really consider for seascapes wherever you're going shooting. I love long exposures, but mirror reflections don't always need so much time. Hence, I was happy with my Lee Polarizer and my favorite grad ND of all time, the 0.6 medium. I love the 0.6 medium because it has the power of a hard filter, but just has a gentle, transition zone that almost makes it feel like a soft filter so you get strength but you also don't leave excessive lines so it's a really great all-round filter for me. I was able to accentuate the color and details further back in post, brush some key points with clarity and contrast and hopefully I created a good balance in post-processing. So guys, I'm on to another shot. I went over to the dart station, but it's hard to ignore a pool bag, especially when the light is reflecting so nicely at the moment. And just see how those clouds form shapes in the sky, of course, and on somewhere like this, which is quite a flat bay, how they just essentially double up in the foreground. And it can be amazing for really creating like interesting, almost abstract versions of images. Just that mirroring of shape between the sky and foreground. It's really going off behind me though. It's absolutely stunning. I need to keep going. Sorry lads. I'm always a big promoter of playing with a variety of shutter speeds so I decided to put this approach to the test with this scene and really shoot it with two totally different perspectives. In the first image I have increased ISO to 80 and opened up my aperture to f9. I've left my lead polarizer on and my 0.6 medium lead grad so that holds in the sky and it balances the light really nicely but my shutter speed is now one fifth of a second. Everything is frozen and I think this exposure choice works really good for increased drama in the scene with everything super sharp. Having the edges of the clouds with a very definite sharpness, it just lends itself to a more dramatic mood. So I'm not just thinking about filtration and exposure in terms of a purely technical exercise. I'm really thinking about it in terms of how my choice of shutter speeds and the filters that I use to influence that will ultimately dictate the mood of the image. And I'm really looking at the scene in question, the light that I have, and trying to figure out what type of approach will work. And Hopefully this more dramatic processing technique and shooting technique works for this particular image. But never fear, the reflection was so good, I couldn't let it go. I love the cloud formation, that circular shape, so I just tried a long exposure on it for good measure as well. 
Note how the long exposure completely simplifies the scene, making the image much more abstract. For me, this lends itself to a much more high key processing, minimal, simple shapes, a soothing energy rather than an aggressive, moody image, where we simply bring contrast to the key points of the picture in post. The wildlife on Booterstown Beach really adds an extra dimension of tranquility to the location. There's a bird sanctuary by the train station, which means there's a range of species you're likely to see here and really with better frequency than lots of other locations around Ireland. I'm certainly not a big bird photographer and in fact, I needed to ask the amazing Explore Like people to help me to identify this little egret. I can, however, say with certainty that I love simplicity and shape and the energy that the wildlife brings to this location. I managed to capture this wee fella in the center of the pool bag reflection. Again, the reflective calm light settled on the shallow receding tide is absolutely key. Shot with my 70 to 200, I had a few minutes to work as this little beauty splashed away nearby. I cranked the ISO a wee bit and opened the aperture to get a faster shutter speed, just a ticket for sharp images of moving objects. No filters needed. The sun was rising and the light was becoming a little bit harsher, but there was still time for one more shot. There's always time for one more, right? Especially when your location is like the Dublin salt plains. Keep following the tide, keep chasing the reflections, keep chasing the light. So look around me, it's absolutely stunning here. It reminds me of the Bolivian salt plains, even though I've never been there, but it's a place I always wanted to go because of those crazy abstract reflections that you can get there. And in these low-lying bays like Dublin Bay, there's an opportunity to get those type of reflections. The water is not very deep, so the reflections sit down so easily. And when you get a nice mix of different cloud heights like we have at the moment, we have the right tide, so the sand is wet, and it's just absolutely going off behind me and um, the bone is the mist in pool bag this morning just unreal so I just got to keep going it's just too nice too nice the graphic of the reflective clouds for my final image was really a sight to behold the sky had shaped up over a few short hours. I wanted mood, I wanted drama, so I decided to keep the shutter speed reasonably quick. Again, I just used my Lee polarizer and 0.6 medium grad ND. I've tried to accentuate the drama in post and created a warm to cool transition from the center leading back towards the foreground and the sky. Pretty nice, pretty good, pretty pleased, sweet. Absolutely immense morning, perfect clouds, perfect tide, great light. I wasn't like crazy colorful, but like, you know, I kind of prefer that. It was moody and it had, uh, you know, that amazing mist just on um, pool bag, which is just such a bonus. It's pretty rare. So it was, uh, yeah, really perfect morning for me. Absolute perfect spot. I oh, loved it. Nice one. Right, good luck. I'm going. I'm going back to bed. I'm tired. <laughs> Been up since four. Good luck.